Welcome back to the Soulful Sketches where we dwell into the lives of inspiring Bible characters seeking wisdom for our spiritual journey. In this episode, we explore the story of Lamech and the rapid advance of sin in the days after Adam and Eve. Our journey today leads us to Genesis chapter 4 verse 24 where we read, If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventy-sevenfold. On his podcast, The Rise and Fall of Mars Hill, Mike Cosper interviewed Joshua Harris about Harris's path from evangelical golden boy to leaving the faith. Harris expresses how his feelings as a teacher and Christian leader were one of the reasons he stepped away from the faith. Mike gently challenges him to see how his feelings did not have to lead him to abandoning faith but could lead him to embrace God's pathway to forgiveness healing and hope. He says, The exposure of failure is the invitation to go. Yeah, repentance is the way of life here. We all fail, some more spectacularly than others, but our sins are never outside the realm of God's grace. The question we should ask ourselves when we mess up isn't, should I talk to God, but how fast can I run to God because I need Him? Lamech earns just a few brief verses in the scripture. But those verses say much about the rapid advance of sin in the days after Adam and Eve. A descendant of Cain, Lamech was the father of the first musician and the first metal worker. But Lamech's contribution to the spiritual condition of humankind was a pitiful one. Despite his notable contributions to human skills, Lamech's actions and attitudes leave much to be desired. Lamech's life veered off course in two significant ways. First, he disregarded God's design for marriage and embraced polygamy by taking two wives, Ada and Zillah. His example set a troubling precedent that would lead to sorrow and frustration for generations to come. Second, Lamech demonstrated a cavalier disregard for the sanctity of human life. Instead of repenting for his violent act, he boasted about killing a young man who had struck him. Lamech's lack of remorse and reliance on his own strength showed a refusal to seek God's discipline or refuge. Lamech's story serves as a stark reminder of the rapid growth of sin and its devastating consequences. However, his narrative also presents an invitation for us to embrace repentance and seek God's grace. Sin is like a weed. It can grow rapidly even in adverse conditions. When we fail or fall into sin, it is essential to remember that we are not alone in our struggles. Like Joshua Harris, who faced his failings as a Christian leader, we must recognize that exposing our failure is an invitation to embrace repentance and turn back to God. The way of life here is one of repentance, acknowledging our mistakes, seeking forgiveness and running swiftly to God who lovingly extends his grace to those who seek him. A time for self-reflection. As we ponder Lamech's choices and their consequences, let us turn our focus inward and examine our own hearts and actions. 1. Have I been disregarding God's design for any aspect of my life, be it relationships, work or personal conduct? How can I realign my choices with God's will and purpose? Second, do I cherish and value human life, treating others with respect, love and compassion? If I have harmed or hurt others, how can I seek forgiveness and make amends? Third, what sprouts of sin am I ignoring in my life? How can I uproot selfishness and rebellion before they take deeper root and cause greater harm? A prayer for you today. Let us take a moment to seek God's guidance and forgiveness as we confront the rapid advance of sin in our lives. Close your eyes and in the quietness of your heart, 
offered this prayer heavenly father as we examine lamech's story and the consequences of sin i come before you please reveal any areas where i have strayed from your path and help me embrace repentance grant me the strength to turn away from sin and seek your forgiveness and grace may my life reflect your love and compassion towards others amen with prayerful wishes for a blessed day this is reverend jijo walvis bidding you farewell until we meet again for another soulful journey through soulful sketches god bless you